Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me in my very first studio vlog. Um, in this video I just want to show how I made these two business cards for my shop update and also these two uh, freebie stickers to go along with it. So essentially I will be condensing hours of work into just a few minutes and this video will have a mixture of screen recordings but towards the end especially, it will be mainly just me doing my own stuff, uh, creating the business cards, the stickers, and so on. Now, I just want to um, start by saying that this was recorded across like one and a half years since I have been working on this shop update on and off for quite some time. Um, so some of the screen recordings will show like October 2022 because I was hoping to have a shop update in 2022 which got postponed to 2023 and then to 2024 and if you want to know the reason I did have a video just talking about my quarter life crisis so you feel free to check that out but yeah it might just feel a little bit choppy at times or um, it might it might feel like these are just very random clips put together, but I hope it still kind of seems cohesive and and flows from like 2022 to present day. But I can probably continue talking about that a little bit later and about studio vlogs for now. I wanted to talk about this piece on the screen. Um, as you can tell by the sad faces and just the constant like changing the colors of the butterflies. I was having a struggle with the color scheme of this piece mainly because number one I was fairly new at digital art at that point and I mean it's 2022 so and also because I didn't have a clear color scheme in mind just going into it anyways so I just played around with some colors silver gold and just asked my family um, and finally when I settled on something that worked Again, thanks to the advice of my family members, I just turned that piece into a sticker. Now, looking at, you know, looking at this now in 2024, there's 100% more efficient ways of doing this, which I now know. Um, but yeah, it's very interesting just having this recorded again way back in 2022 and getting a chance to look at it now and if I'm able to find mistakes and I'm able to say hey there's a better way of doing this that just means I have learned and I have grown which is always a really nice feeling and yeah right now I am just turning the other piece into a sticker um, but yeah, I, I now want to go back to just talking about studio vlogs and why essentially this is my first studio vlog when I could have probably done more. Um, so studio vlogs, I think, even though I really enjoy uh, watching them, can be a little bit challenging to record, I think, in terms of like moving your camera, um, well, for my case, my phone. Um, just having things recorded, your process recorded. Um, also because when you edit, a lot of the times there isn't much to talk about. Um, so a lot of people will put music, which is great. But I, for spiritual reasons, I don't really listen to music. And so it's probably not something I want to include in my videos. So it's just a matter of trying to figure out a way to to make studio vlogs in a way that aligns with my values and beliefs while also just having fun with YouTube and making sure that um, the content I put out is, is, is fun, right? It's stuff that you all would want to watch. So that is something I need to figure out, but for now I have a decent setup in terms of um, my lighting and where to put my phone at least way better than 2022 those shaky camera angles are are not great uh, and I do apologize for it but hopefully uh, you've probably seen that since then things have gotten slightly better like for example this shot right now was filmed in 2024 um, 
it is brighter uh, and the camera is not shaky because I have a place to put it in, put it to be able to film things from this angle. So what I'm doing right now in this video is I am laminating my business cards. So I formatted them in Microsoft Word. Just as um, I said, there was an efficient way of just making the stickers. Um, at least, I mean, designing them on on like a digital software. There is also probably a better way and more efficient way of making these business cards. But these are the way, this is the way that I do it because I really like the quality of it. Like it feels very thick, it feels very sturdy and I've gotten a lot of compliments from my friends and when I tell them that I make these myself, they typically get very surprised. They think that I ordered them in. Um, and your next question might be, well, this is not a very efficient process. Why are you not ordering um, business cards online? And a big reason for that is essentially I learned. Um, when I first started, or I, I guess jumped into uh, starting kind of like an online art shop, I started, like I ordered a large quantity of business cards. And sooner, yeah, soon after that, I, I actually was like, I don't really like these designs too much. And like my taste changed, obviously and i didn't get enough orders to justify having like 200 250 business cards so i thought you know what i'll just make them and that is what i have done which has allowed me great flexibility in terms of changing the design whenever i want and i also kind of get to make them at an affordable price uh, as as opposed to like, let's say ordering just 10 business cards and um, the cost for each business card ends up going quite a bit up just because the more you order, typically the cheaper things get. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm not making like 200, 300 sales to justify ordering that many business cards. And by the time I might be able to get rid of those business cards, my taste will change. So this is just what works for me right now. We will see if this stays consistent in the future, but this is what, what I do. Again, probably not the most efficient, but it works for me. All right, so with these business cards completed, uh, I am going to move on to making the stickers eventually. And I, yeah, Similarly, I make the stickers myself. Um, if you order it in bulk in larger quantities, it might be more efficient. But for now, this is a great way for me to do some, you know, quality control, to have fun with things. And I actually really enjoy this process of just making my own business cards, my own stickers. So for the time being, I am hopefully going to continue doing these things. And here is my studio assistant just joining in to say hi. Um, she's a very curious, curious one. So I, I try to entertain her curiosity, but sometimes, sometimes she gets herself into trouble. So, and creates a mess, but yeah, here is, here she is <laughs> in all her glory. Uh, anyways, yeah, I now want to talk a little bit about my next set of videos as my shop update day approaches. I am aiming for February 18th, just because that's also my, when my reading break starts. So hopefully I am expecting that, you know, that week I'll have a bit more time. So for that reason, I am aiming for February 18th. A lot of the stickers are done. As you've seen, freebies, business cards, they are done. So I've, I've placed orders for postcards and a couple of 
fun things. Um, I don't want to reveal too much, but uh, I'm hoping that I'll make a shop update show and tell, which I saw an artist do. Um, hopefully I can find them, but where this artist essentially kind of talked about uh, her pieces and um, like the meaning behind them, why it was important to her. So I plan on doing that. I have an inking video of one of the pieces in my shop update. I also want to talk a little bit about my next steps after my shop update, um, what my new approach to art is, which was an idea I, I kind of came up with that I think will work well with me um, as I worked on this like series of art pieces for my for my shop update. I mean, I say a series of art pieces, but it's just one series and it has three pieces in it. And that gave me a great idea on how I want to proceed with art and how I can make sure I get what I want to out of my art practice. So please stay tuned for um, all those videos. And I still have a few more prepared, well, not prepared, but planned out a little bit and scheduled in my head on when I want to record them and edit them, release them, etc. So please stay tuned and if you'd like to see them, please um, subscribe. And yeah, as we near the end of this video, I just want to thank you for watching my very first studio vlog that has condensed hours of work into a couple of minutes. And if you have any advice, any feedback, I'm always receptive. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.